Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's 994Y and Ty. And today we are going to be getting ready because <laughs> my my dad says we need to brush our teeth for whatever he thinks. Yes, so today in this video we're going to be getting my hair done. We're going to be transforming my hair. This is my little brother, guys. We're going to be transforming my hair and doing something different to my hair. So my hair is not combed or brushed. It's just literally gathered into a ponytail without any products in it. Like, it's going to be real dry. So I will come back to you guys later when I'm, like, getting situated and ready and at the place I need to be. Okay, so I just took my hair out of the, the ponytail. And I just wanted to, like... I don't know, play with my hair a little because this is like the last time I get to feel my hair and like touch it and everything because it's going bye bye. Like, this is honestly the last time. And I just want to show you guys like how uneven my hair is also. Like, I don't know. It's just a very weird experience because I'm not going to be able to do this and not going to be able to touch my puff by the end of the day. So guys, I literally have sunburn on my forehead from when I went to the Black Lives Matter protest. Yeah, um, I just wanted to mention that. I just, this is not my first time getting sunburn and this probably will be the last time I get sunburn. But I just didn't think I would need sunscreen to go to a protest thing. So. For the record, I never used sunscreen in my life. I'm black. <laughs> I'm obviously black too It's just I don't know why I get sunburned Like I just get sunburned really often But it wasn't even that hot Like it was like oh this is hot But it was not like oh my goodness So There, there we have it And I also had some on my nose But I think that one went away Yeah so make sure you guys When you guys are going to these protests You guys are protecting yourself with masks and stuff and if you're going in the daylight, wear sunscreen. So you Unless don't... you're black. <laughs> I'm not the only black person that gets sunscreen. Leave a comment down below if you, you're you melaninated, melaninated. How do you say it? Melanated. Melanated and have to wear sunscreen. Um, and if you guys are non-melanated or not as melanated, if you guys... Okay, so if you guys get sunburn, can you please leave products down below that helps you not get sunburn and helps get rid of sunburn? Like, I know aloe is good, but aloe smells so bad. So, yeah, can you please just, um, just, just let me know because I can't live my whole life like this. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's get this. Like, here's the before. John Baba. Michael Dre collection. There we go. I still don't know what the back looks like. Okay, turn slowly. Look at that face. Look at that cute face. He turning. Yeah. So, hi guys. By the time that you see this, I would already have my lock. So this is like back to the future or something like that. Right, Dad? Like back to the future? Part two. Yeah, okay. Um, that movie's terrible. The second one. Yeah, it was. First I, one classic. Yes. So, Dad, what does your locks mean to you? My locks means heritage, culture, and it represents it represents sh strength and struggle for me. Yes. You know, there's like the old saying, you know, you're stronger with fists. I mean, everything comes together. If you tie these locks together, it's it's stronger, and that's us as people. That's beautiful. So. I will like to tell you what my locks mean to me later in the video, or I probably already have done it. But yes. Um, why? Why? Yeah, 
exactly why did I get them. Oh yeah, why did you get your locks? Okay, I got my locks similarly tied to the previous question. I got my locks because um, I'm Jamaican, my mother's Jamaican, uh, born and raised there and came over here. And I just felt disconnected, I always felt disconnected growing up from, from my culture and disconnected from the larger American society. Um, I never wanted to particularly fully integrate with American society. I knew I had my own identity and culture and me getting locks was just part of it. I remember in high school, before locks was a trend or anything, when it was just, you know, they used to make fun of the like dirty rasta hair and stuff like that. Before locks was cool and the trends, I would always twist my hair. Like I would let my hair grow out and just twist my hair almost like locks and just let them hang out and I used to get teased and picked on but I just felt a connection to being black and not hair being straightened or not you know trying to make it acclimated to American society but something other than that was really beautiful God he almost made me cry like I'm like yeah. oh my god because honestly like I feel sorry guys Because I low-key feel the same way. Because honestly, it's um I don't feel connected to like I like I'm obviously am black, but like I don't feel connected to being black because a lot of people are like, oh you're not really black because of this and that and that, like how I talk and everything. But I don't know. And then box is just something that I've wanted for a really long time and that now that I'm finally able to get them. Sorry that the dashboard's dirty. Um, I'm just able to get <laughs> I'm not trying to play you. <laughs> but I like <laughs> You made all the dust kick up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just like I don't know how to explain it. Hopefully like I'll find a way to explain it by time. But the lighting back there was so nice, guys. It's been exactly two weeks since I two weeks since I've gotten my locks done. And so I'm going to take out the style um, and I'm going to speed it up and then after that I'll tell you guys why I got my looks. Hi guys. Okay, so as you can tell that I just took it out and then my the side that has been braided and twisted up are so thin and not has not shrank and down yet like the other side and hopefully it will puff up tonight because tomorrow I have to get um, an MRI done um, yeah so I'm not really feeling it that much because this doesn't match with this side of the hair you know what I mean oh and there's a whole nother twist left okay but yeah and also, I don't really like using rubber bands in my hair because hair starts to fall out. That's the most hair in the other rubber bands. The other rubber bands are like one or two strands. But yes, yeah, so now I'm going to tell you why I got my lock. So, I honestly, wait, let me close this door. I got my locks because one, my dad has locks and I always really wanted locks very badly. And also, another thing, which is like this reasons kind of oof. okay hopefully they can fix that um but I would literally go to school and not have my hair done like I'd slick my hair back in like a slick back ponytail or I would have it on top of my head and then I won't do anything to it for the rest of the week I would just like oof, go like that flat it down and maybe put some gel on it sometimes like I literally hated doing my hair and it's just I feel like my hair was just so high maintenance because honestly natural hair products are so expensive and if you have natural hair you know what I'm talking about like conditioner is $15 and that's like that's just so much money and so expensive for no reason and I just I don't know I just hate it waking, waking up and doing my hair and I just really wanted locks for the longest time and the culture. And I just think that locks are so beautiful. And also that it doesn't go against the beauty standard here in America. Because like the beauty standard, oh, you have to have 
just if you have natural hair your hair has to be the loose curly big long hair and if you don't have natural hair then you had to have long straight hair or just straight hair in general and I feel like why do I have to have hair like that to be pretty you know what I mean and then if you really don't have that kind of hair then you're considered not pretty or not as pretty and then they shame you for wearing braids and weaves and wigs and stuff so I like I don't know well I do know but I hope that makes sense to you guys so that is the reason why I got my locks and this is what it looks like out of style um I forgot how thin they were when I first got them done I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be pulling on them so I'm not going to hey you guys welcome back so it is the next day from that last clip um my hair didn't really expand that much but that's not what I'm here to say um, I'm going to say that Mo counted my locks and there's 72 of them. So I'm starting out with 72. I kind of wanted a little bit more so my locks down the road won't be thick, but I think that I can just manage and work with it. And then I can't wait until these start puffing out so it can look a bit more fuller, especially like around here because it just looks kind of awkward. You know what I mean? And it looks like there's like nothing right here. So yeah. I had to figure out how to style them and stuff, but yeah, I think they're really nice. I, I actually really love them. I hope you guys love them as much as I do. So make sure you like and subscribe since YouTube has turned off my comments. Um, and if you have anything that you want to say to me, you guys can just DM me. I put my Instagram down here. And, or if you have any questions, okay. Bye, guys.